In this video, we will be covering user frames. User frames are a way for the robot programmer to define a custom coordinate system. Normally, the robot will have its default world coordinate system and probably a tool coordinate system. But when it comes time for the robot programmer to develop a solution that is specific to a part, it is sometimes easier if there is a coordinate system that has been centered around the part being worked with. This user coordinate system or user frame allows for a certain amount of sanity for the programmer and in general provides an ease of use and a modularity to the points being taught and the logic being developed that would otherwise be unavailable. An example of this would be in this video that I'm showing in which there are the two tables in front of the robot that are at differing angles to each other and if it is assumed that they both contain the same part, it would be nice if the robot programmer were able to program the part once and then apply that same program to a new location. And so this is where user frames come into play. By creating a user frame for the first table, let's call it the left one, and then teaching the robot the points on the left table, the robot programmer could then teach a user frame on the right table and apply the previous taught points in the first user frame to the second user frame without having to reteach all of the points. The end result would be that time was saved and the programmer could be assured that once they had fully debugged the program on the first table that it would work flawlessly on the second table. The other reason for using user frames is that some applications and solutions require the generation of a specific user frame for that application. The most immediate example that comes to mind is machine vision, especially when the robot programmer is trying to obtain part position from a camera, but that is for a separate video. The exact teaching of a new user frame is robot brand specific. However, the general process will be to teach the origin of the new coordinate system and then indicate locations that are in a positive x direction and then a positive y direction on the xy plane. By doing this, the robot will then be able to calculate not only the plane from the three points, but also because of the orientation of the arm, be able to determine which direction is positive Z. The end result of this will be that there is a new coordinate system and when the robot is in a given location for the world coordinate system, if the user coordinate system coordinates are displayed, they will be different than what is shown on the world coordinate system. And if a second coordinate system were defined, the points would be different from that as well. As you can see in this video, as the robot moves, multiple joints are moving to provide the linear motion that you are watching. And when switched to a world coordinate system, you will notice that multiple axes are moving. However, if we switch to the user frame that I have previously taught this robot, you will notice that only one axis is moving at a time. Some final thoughts that I would like to leave you with are that as you use multiple user frames, it is imperative that you make sure you know which user frame you are in at any given point in time. A failure to do this will undoubtedly result in your making a movement with the robot that moves in an unexpected direction. Likewise, as you teach points, it is important that you make sure you are aware of the user frame in which those points are associated. Otherwise, you run the risk of instructing the robot to move to a point that it is unable to calculate due to the incorrect user frame. 
And the final thought that I would like to leave you with is that accuracy counts when configuring the user frame. Even a small amount of inaccuracy when defining the user frame can result in a significant deviation of the plane as you move further away from the origin of that plane. Hopefully this has made sense. That's all for now.